This video is made possible by my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. Love ya, Patreon fam. Happy 2022, everyone. I hope that you have had a great and restful holiday season. The past few weeks here in Southeast have been pretty wild to say the least. I've been really distracted by so many things that have been going on and also trying my best to be a bit more present and enjoy life to the fullest here. My mom and I spent the last week of the year kid sitting a truly Alaskan family. It was kind of a wild time, but it was awesome to help out friends of ours. It's amazing to see what it takes to raise a family here in Southeast Alaska. It's a single mom waiting on her biscuits. Also, the kids here are just so hardcore and love to play in the frigid temps and sled down really steep hills. I'm being bossed around by a five-year-old right now. Are you back there cussing? Keep both your hands on the ground and then just kind of push down on the side you want to go to. So all the kids you want to go to. Right here! Life of a single okay, mom. <laughs> Wow, pulling up you guys up really made me tired. I'm exhausted now. The weather has also been really wild lately. Southeast Alaska hasn't had sustained cold temps with this much snow since about 2007. The lowest temp we got here during the cold snap was I think negative 15. This compounded by a warm weather front that has just arrived with lots of rain has made conditions here very icy and slushy. Oh, skate on it. I also got to spend a week with someone who is becoming very special to me. We survived the ice age at his cabin and we got to see lots of animals, cook, paint, watch movies, and of course listen to lots of music. It was really cool to see what it would take to live off-grid on an ultra-remote island, only accessible by boat or aircraft. I'm excited to introduce this person to you maybe one day, if they're okay with it. But for now, I'm just so excited to have met someone that I really like spending time with. And that brings us to now. I'm back at the cabin now with my mom and the dogs. And we are just settling in here. We're settled in, ready to experience some more of the winter weather here. Be a character in my movie, just say. <laughs> How are you, mom? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm not freezing. It is so slushy outside. Yeah. Let's see. I will illustrate this better, but currently my Jeep is parked over there because we can't fit it here anymore because of the snow. But everything is just dripping and dropping. There's Maribel. And yeah. It's really nice to not feel like your fingers and toes are going to fall off every time <laughs> you go outside. But I think it's really cool that we've experienced single digits and negatives now. We've experienced triple digits before. And now we've experienced this extreme as well. So that's kind of cool to be able to say that we've experienced it, even though it was really cold. Like, I don't think there were any moments where I was like, I can't do this, but it was definitely chilly. Let's be honest. But then you hear people talking about kids up in like Nome, Alaska, where it's like negative 30 or more. And they're like out wearing t-shirts when it's like four degrees out. I think human bodies are just meant to acclimate because I found at the end of the cold snap, like being outside in, you know, negative or like one degree with the right clothing wasn't as hard. You know, I don't want to stand out there for a whole hour, but like if I needed to go do something outside for a couple of minutes, like it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So I'm feeling ultra ready to start getting on my content making grind again. I think I just needed like a good couple weeks to just chill. And I feel like everyone should do that. Um, if you're making content on the internet or whatever you do, I think if you can and you're able to take the time to rest and kind of 
be more present, I think that's a great idea. I think that should be just like a norm, the default. Like we're, we're gonna take a couple weeks off of making content. Just enjoy the holiday season. Also when it's like super cold, like it's really hard to film anything or want to film anything. That's what I've been dealing with recently. But I'm super excited, um, trying to decide if I wanna go down to like one video a week um, for the time being until February, um, the middle of February, uh, lots of fun stuff is going to happen. I still don't know how and when I can announce um, what I'm doing, um, but we are getting ready to do, gearing up to do some cool stuff. I've been doing lots of research and um, yeah, talking to some people down in Blur 48 about um, getting some stuff work done on my Jeep and stuff and it's really exciting so I can't wait to share that with you guys. Ah, for now there really isn't much to do here. I've just been doing a lot of painting and playing guitar and chilling and I feel like things really start to slow down here around the holidays because the weather is so cold and wet and all of that. I feel like it's just such a natural pattern here in the north for everybody to kind of do less, sleep more, and like, you know, energize. I kind of I kind of like it. It's cool to have an excuse to rest. Like, I'm one of those people where I need to like have an excuse to not do something or else I feel really bad about it. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people could probably relate to that. It's been getting lighter. It's twilight and civil twilight, which means like the last bit of light ends around like 4.30 now. So that's really wild too. The sun's coming back and um, we've been get we're gonna be getting lots of new snow here soon. So I just really wanna enjoy Southeast Alaska for the time being and really just take it all in this winter life. I'm really proud of my mom and me. We're really like, we're making it through. We've had a really good attitude about it the whole time and um, it hasn't been painful at all. So that's great. <laughs> I really like this part of Alaska because it's not negative 30 or negative 70 at the most. So I just feel really lucky to be in this part of Alaska because <laughs> it's Alaska light. Not really, but you know, in comparison to further up north. This is what currently looks like outside. Okay. I'm scared. I'm wearing this thing's called Yes Press. To stop myself from slipping. They work very well. But there's like several inches of ice right now. Look at the bottom of the tank here. Just pure ice. Go to the main road and check it out. We usually salt the main road, so let's check it out. But there's just so much water and like a mixture. It's going down like 32, 33, 32, 33. Let's see. Oh yeah, the roads are bad. Look, it's just ice. Amazing. <laughs> Loki dangerous, man. It's the, it's the most amount of green I've seen in a really long time though. <laughs> Everything's been covered in snow. Like I want to show you guys, like all this snow back here has to melt because it's going to be... Oh, I almost fell. All the snow is going to melt back here because uh, the temperatures are, you know, high 30s, low 40s. So where does all the snow go? That back there is a muskeg um, or like bog like. So it's normal for there to be a lot of water back there. And so it has pretty good drainage. And then it goes out to the ocean, which is that way. Um, but look, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It is slush town out here. Slush town. Someone's driving on the road. Oh my God. 
They don't even have chains on. That's insane. Oh, whoa. It's strange because it is like 30 to 35 degrees warmer than it's been. So it feels like spring. Like you can, like the smells are different out here. It's, it's weird. It's like stand out here for so much longer. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I mean, like, look at this cabin <laughs> with all that snow on it. It's at least three feet of snow. And you can see where the different consecutive snowings have happened. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Giant storms, snowstorms. Melting. That's what I can't get over. Look at this crown. Ice skating. Yeah, yeah. Even in my yak cracks. <laughs> So anyways, y'all, thanks for watching this video and thanks for watching my first video of 2022. I, I'm really so excited for this next year. Like, it just is like, it's killing me that I can't really like talk about the details yet but all will be revealed very soon y'all are gonna be like can this girl make up her mind already uh but what is what is she trying to do here <laughs> but i'm really excited to share everything that's going on and yeah thank you for watching and thank you for sticking around for the journey for the adventure the endless adventure and i will see you guys in the next video love ya bye